What is good everybody, Nathan Lombardo here with Lambo Media. Outside of Legends Performance and Wellness here in Tempe, Arizona. Make sure you, have, you check them out if you haven't already. But to my right here is catcher for the Milwaukee Brewers, Jacob Nottingham. Jacob, I wanna start off with this. You got a cast on your left wrist uh, for your thumb. Talk to me a little bit about that thumb surgery process and you know the journey uh, thus far with that and kind of what that process has looked like. Uh, yeah, so during the year, uh, I took a ball off the thumb and uh, ended up tearing my radial collateral ligament. Okay. Um, so this December, or actually January, uh, I got it repaired. So um, now just in the process of getting it just uh, with mobility and then yeah. in a couple of weeks getting the strength up. So yeah. uh, hopefully in a month or so I'm back to baseball activity. Yeah, absolutely. And how has that been for you mentally? Because obviously, you know, it's not easy to, you know, maybe sit out and watch a whole bunch of other people throw, hit. What, what, how has that been for you mentally thus far? Uh, it's harder just because you're so used to just being able to do whatever you want right. off season. So now there's limitations and yeah. uh, just having to work around certain things and um, just being a little behind with my body, but uh, I think me and Justin have done a great job of doing what we can do at the time and uh, just be ready. You mentioned Justin Wakefield. I have to talk a little bit about that and you know give them the credit because they're letting me be out here today. Um, what has that meant to you in Legends Performance and Wellness? You it's and been awesome. Uh, I mean, I came over here a couple years ago and it's been great. Yeah. Uh, everybody here, the staff's awesome. It works with the athletes. Everyone's just, it's just a fun environment, so. Okay. Um, just keeping it going and just keep working at it. I gotta talk about the hair. <laughs> How long have you been letting it just flow? And you know, when's the last time you've gotten a haircut? It's been a couple of years uh, that I started it. And then kind of just, I didn't really know I had it like a little wavy and stuff. So I kind of <laughs> kept it. So yeah. it's kind of a thing now. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, you're a big league catcher, like I just mentioned in the intro for the Milwaukee Brewers. What does your pregame prep look like when prepping for a game? What do you do pregame? whether that would be, you know, on your own or even with the starting pitcher of that game? Uh, just first thing you do is just kind of get your body ready for the day, right. um, which is like a hot tub, like foam roll, stretching. Uh, if you have to work out, work out. But uh, that, hitting the cage, um, do your routine with stuff like that and watch video. Okay. So study other, the other opponent. Um, just kind of do your homework, what you got to yeah. do to get ready for that day. And, yeah. Uh, and then once, probably like an hour, two hours before the game, just meet with the pitcher and see okay. what kind of what they want to do. And right. uh, just from there, you just go out there and play, have fun, and yeah. just go, just go with your instincts. Yeah, most definitely. And you know, when acquiring a new, brand new pitcher and getting them in the Milwaukee Brewers organization, you know, you you, you expect them to be on the forty-man roster and in the big league, big leagues that season. What does that process look like? Building a relationship with that brand new pitcher. You know from first acquiring them and then throughout the spring training and then into the regular season as well yeah i mean you obviously just want to learn 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 the person uh get to know them uh just become best friends yeah. and then and then you go to the field and just become have a connection out there so yeah. uh just learning everything that they do what they like to do what they don't like and just building that connection uh, i think that just goes a long ways with pitchers and uh, obviously, they're trusting you with their career, yeah. so it's, it's big. Yeah, and something new I've started here with Lambo Media in my interviews is that after every interview to wrap it up, uh, I have my interviewee nominate another person to do an interview with Lambo Media. So, Jacob, uh, who's going to be that guy? Um, I'm going to go with uh, Scott Kingery. Okay, Scott, you've been called out. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we're going to go later <laughs> today. Uh, so, Jacob, I really appreciate you making this happen. Best of luck in the future. You know, a fast recovery with your thumb and, you Thank know, you, good man. luck in the future. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you.